Good evening, everyone. This is Leah Dixon. This is Leah Dixon from Port Coquitlam, British Columbia, and I'm popping in to do a Facebook Live. Oh, and just as I do that, I got my message that my battery is running low, so just give me a moment while I go plug in. Good thing it actually gives me a warning, otherwise I'd be filming and everything would just die in the middle of our video. So here we go. I guess I was on it too much at work today. Alright. There we go. So we're all plugged in and hopefully that means that we're going to be just fine and hopefully my other battery on my camera for my phone will be just fine. Um, so today I have the October Paper Pumpkin. I was really hoping to be able to um, do a live event this evening, but a lot of people haven't actually received their paper. So I'm actually going to postpone it until next week. I'm also just going to pop a comment here in the comments box. So hopefully I'll be able to see your comments as you guys pop on. Um, so I'm super excited to get started with our paper pumpkin. I'm going to switch the camera over now to our fabulous box. It's a nice red Christmas box. All right, here we go. So we are um, here with our gorgeous Christmas paper pumpkin. And so this is really nice because you can even grab like a packing label or something and put it over top of this paper pumpkin and you've got this really beautiful box with the little holly and everything and it says love and harmony and in different languages we've got German, French and English for sure on here um, and so when we open this up we have the most adorable stamp set so I actually haven't seen this um, I took a quick peek and saw the stamp set and fell in love immediately um, so, Merry Christmas with just like the best font ever. Joy, wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter to the world, to your you and yours, and sending. Um, so that's going to be just beautiful. And then the wreath and the gorgeous rose and everything. So I'm so excited about this stamp set. And then it comes with a Just Jade stamping spot. So I'm actually going to pop that off to the side and grab my Just Jade from my shelf and um, we'll use that instead and then I'll have that as a little giveaway for someone. So this is just a little bit more information about um, all the different languages that we have here. So it was French, English and German that we have for um, the sentiments in our box. And let's pop in here and see what else we have. I'm just going to pull this all out entirely. Alright, put that down there. Wonderful. And got that off to the side. Oh, hey Jacqueline. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, I am going to do a live event next Friday for people who order theirs um, through me, but um, I know a lot of people haven't actually received theirs yet. I guess there was some kind of craziness with it heading off to Memphis and Winnipeg and I don't know all over the map so a bit strange um, mine arrived late this afternoon all right this is gorgeous I am in love with the twine in here it's that deep deep red I think it's actually the cherry cobbler um, so beautiful so we have a little spool of that the th little thread there um, some dimensionals, which are always nice to get in here. Some really lovely, almost like um, like um, knit sweater style um, little pieces here. So that's awesome. Um, two, oh, two different sizes. Okay, I'm going to have to pay attention to that. All right, some envelopes. And I'm hoping, yes, this is one of my favorite parts, is these envelopes are all lined. And so just so beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry, I can see that there's some more comments here. Um, oh, I know, far east, far west, whatever. 
Um, at least they're all going to arrive at some point. All right, so these envelopes are beautifully lined with the three languages again with the um, peace, love, and harmony. So that is just gorgeous. And let's see if they're all the same. They are all the same. Excellent. So gorgeous envelopes as always. I love those. Oh, we have some really nice little stitched pieces here in two different sizes. And, oh, I love it. The backgrounds here have this really beautiful, like, gold, um, the gold, like, dotted lines on there. That is just gorgeous. So that's one thing I truly love about Paper Pumpkin is it does some stuff that... You know, we could do with some great difficulty or, you know, in some cases we can't do it all. Oh, and then the other cards have the same dotted line, but um, horizontal instead of vertical. So there you go. So we've got our two backgrounds for that. We have these gorgeous wreaths and the roses. So those are going to be fun to play with. And then, oh, wow, look at that. Some beautiful gold accents. And I believe, yeah, there we go. We have two sheets of this with different language choices so we don't have to stick with English today we can make a bunch of cards we can change them up so if you have family elsewhere like for me we'll probably use some of the French to create a card for my best friend Leanne um, and so that is lovely that we have that as an option oh these are gorgeous oh you haven't opened yours yet oh you good and Frank are going to love it it is absolutely um amazing. Good evening, Val. Good evening, Sharon. It is so awesome. You're right, Sharon. <laughs> All right. Um, and then some mini glue dots, which I love getting those. That's my favorite way to use mini glue dots. Oh, good. And there's some instructions. All right. So we're not going blind tonight because I don't know that I have the brain capacity to just kind of wing a card tonight. Oh, and some beautiful alternative projects as well. Oh, I can already see things that I'm going to be creating. That is gorgeous. Okay, so we are going to stick tonight. Oh, are we going to stick to the originals? Um, oh, how is that different? That's not really different. Okay, I see. They're just showing me the two cards on the back. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with our Merry Christmas with our horizontal stripes. And I'm looking at the two and actually thinking I might build both kind of at the same time. So we've got one card that goes this way, one card that goes that way, just because we have the two different sizes. So I want to make sure I'm getting the right sizes on here. So this one's going to be the square and this one's going to be the rectangle. There we go. So now those are done with. And then we've got this one with the wreath. I think it's with the wreath. Oh yeah, we're going to stamp over top of it to make it stand out. That's awesome. So what they've done is they've put in some very soft green in here. It looks like it might be um, like, uh, oh, what's that called? Soft sea foam in the background. And then we're going to stamp over top of that in the Just Jade so that we really get a solid image. Okay, that's fabulous. And then this other side, we're going to use our two roses. And so that one's done. All right. And pop that off to the side. Just going to double check on comments because my thing isn't um, uh, scrolling for me for some reason. So I'm going to have to keep scrolling it for myself. All right. So we've got our two roses. Now we need some sentiments. This is where we're going to get to do some stamping. So we've got this larger Merry Christmas for this card. And the smaller one for the sending on that one. And then we're done with those. And then, let's see. Just trying to get all my bits here. So we've got a nice gold background on that one. And then we can choose peace, joy, or love. And we can also choose whatever language we want to use. So I think I'm actually going to create this one for a friend. And so I'm going to send Sending Amour. All right. And I'm going to do that. I want Leanne and her girls speak French at home. Leanne's a French immersion teacher. Her daughters are both in French immersion. I really, you know, probably should have grabbed the French version of this kit so then even the word sending would be in French, but that's okay. 
All right, so I think we have all of our bits now. Now we're gonna do some stamping. So let's grab this gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set. And, um, oh, look at that. On your, oh, I love it. You can do to you and yours. Oh, let's do that one. So, amour to you and yours. And need a block. So, if you're a first time paper, paper pumpkin subscriber, you'll actually get a paper pumpkin block. And it looks something like this. And it even says paper pumpkin on the side. So, that's the block you're going to get. And it's really kind of universal, it fits everything. Um, I have, I happen to have some blocks here, so I'm going to use my G block and the way I like to mount thin sentiments like this is to actually put them down and line them up on my grid paper and then put my block over top and line it up. And there we have it. So I'm going to grab my just jade and pop in here. Oh, it looks like I have like some paper scraps and stuff. And I always do a sample stamp up at the top just to get a sense of how it's going to ink up. This one looks like it's inking up like super juicy. Um, but that's actually going to be okay. It's drying fine. So I definitely don't want to be pressing down as I ink that one. And there we go. So I've got my two yours stamped. And then I'm also going to mount my Merry Christmas. This Merry Christmas is gorgeous. And I'm going to put that one actually probably onto an actual paper pumpkin block. It's a nice size. So that one I'm going to line up the Mary. And then I'm going to line up the block. There we go. Um, because the Christmas is kind of all curvy and all over the place. So it's going to be harder to line that one up. I'll grab our little tag here to stamp on. And tap that in there. Oh, I think I just got ink all over my finger. I did. There we go. All right, and then we're going to do a sample stamp just to see and it's stamping beautifully. All right, so we'll line that up in there. I hope I didn't just get my forehead into the shot. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. This is such a beautiful stamp set. Okay, now I'm going to close out and put it out of my way because I am notorious for dropping things in my ink. And now we get to start building these cards. So I'm going to actually set all of that stamped stuff off to the side and I'm going to work on this one first. Um, and we're going to grab our twine here. This beautiful twine. Let's see if I can see the end here. This is always the tricky part for me. I'm seeing where to start. There we go. Okay. And so looks like they've just done a single loop around this beautiful kind of knitted piece here and so do a loop around and cut off the excess now with that there I am going to come in here and tie a little knot this is so beautiful this is getting me so into the Christmas spirit I wish I had like Christmas music playing in the background or something. Um, I know it's a ways off. My kids at school are just getting excited about Halloween, but I am a Christmas fan. I love it. All right. Now, once we've tied that knot in there, we're going to come in and to do, do two bunny ears. Oh, mind twister. And, oh, come on. My fingers are not working. I think I've been typing too much for work between Zoom meetings and all sorts of stuff because I, I feel like I might be getting like carpal tunnel in my wrist and it's not pleasant. It's affecting how my fingers are working too. All right. Just means I need to take a break from schoolwork this weekend. <laughs> okay. So there we go, and I just moved that around a bit, and I am going to trim up the ends just slightly. I just feel like they're a little bit long and maybe a bit frayed from all that tying. There we go. Trim that up. All right. Now with that done, we are going to attach this to our card front, and I am going to use dimensionals for this. You could also just use liquid glue and adhere this layer straight down, but... Um, 
I think it's nice to give it a little bit of pop. Anytime I tie a ribbon around something, I try and give it a little pop. And a few more on here since this is holding everything together. Now, did I get that? I got that too close. I'm going to carefully peel that off and reposition it. So there we go. All right. This is such a beautiful set. The font is just blowing my mind. I love it. All right. Here we go, and I am going to pop this right in the center, well, as center as I can get it. There we go. So I did get one extra of this kit, and um, if you contact me before I change my mind and decide to keep it, because this is so beautiful, um, I do have that for sale. So now I just realized we forgot one of our bits of stamping. We have our wreath. And let's see how we're going to line this up. So I think that's going to be the key, is figuring out how this gets lined up before we do any inking and before we do, um, even before I put it on the block, I think. All right, I'm looking to see where the tiny needles are and see if I can line that up. Hmm. So that's not really going to work. Let's see. That one a little bit. I don't really even know if it actually really matters. I think it's just going to kind of... Oh, maybe it does. Oh, look at that. You know what? I can use the outside of the wreath to get the... Um, to get the right shape. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. How am I going to line this up so it makes sense? There's a big divot, and that looks like a big divot. I wonder if that's the spot. No, maybe not. Hmm. All right, this is going to be a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be because I thought this was going to line up really nicely, and it's not. So I think, oh wait, the inner circle, we can do that, can't we? All right, there we go. That's more of an approximate. That's going to line up a bit better. All right, we're going to go with that. And I'm going to grab another paper pumpkin block and pop that on there so you can see the wreath just perfectly fits there. And now, I think that's, I think that's as close as we're going to get, maybe a little bit like that. You know, that covers up some of those berries. All right. Oh, there we go, just like that. All right, so a little bit off. How about I twist it like that? There we go. So now we're going to be nicely lined up. I'm going to get my, oh, ouch, just jade back. And we're going to ink this up. So I am going to do a practice with this one as well. And I can see it's not even inking in the spot. So let's fix that. All right. Oh, and that is quite juicy. Oh, my goodness. All right. Spot. That's so interesting. So do be very careful with this as you're inking because there is a spot that doesn't seem to want to ink up on mine. And so I'm having to go over it a few times. All right, so now I think I've got this nicely lined up. So the, using the inside of the wreath is what really helped me and lining up that one bump with the one bump on the wreath. There we go. So it's, you know, not perfect, but it's quite nice and just adds a little bit of extra color and everything there. All right, so now that we've got our wreath stamped and it's really standing out, we are going to use some dimensionals to pop this onto our card front. And I am going to maybe just try and squish this over just a little bit oh, without wrecking my scent layer. All right, there we go. So I'm going to pop some dimensionals behind this wreath. I'll probably use three of them just to kind of evenly spread that out. There we go. And now it doesn't really matter which way our wreath goes down because it's a circle and we're also going to be covering up a lot of it with our words. Okay, so now I have chosen the words Amour and I'm going to put them just slightly above my ribbon because then I'm going to put my to you and yours underneath um, so that it covers up that strip of ribbon that goes through the center of our card. 
So to attach this wording, we're going to use our mini glue dots. And I'm not going to use a ton of them, but I'm going to take a look at this and see that okay, the top of the O, the full U, and the side of the M and A are where I want these dots because those are the spots that are going to be making contact with the wreath, which they can attach to. Okay, so the A and the M, the top of the O, and the U. Okay, there we go. And now these are slightly larger than the shape that I am putting them on. So what's going to happen is after I peel this off, I'm actually just going to use my fingernails to kind of fold it in so that all of the adhesive is on the back side of our lettering. Do that. And then I'll just use my fingernails to fold that in. If you have longer fingernails and that's not going to work for you, then, you know, just grab like a paper piercer or really anything. Um, it's really stuck to the lettering. So folding it into the back, it's not like it's not going anywhere. All right. There we go. Pop that up the side. Yay. There we go. So, oh, it feels so nice to be home and doing some crafting. It was a long day at work. Luckily, the weather cooperated for us in the afternoon, and the kids could get out and be dry for a bit, but, oh, it was a long day. All right, so here we go. Pop those down, the A, the M, the O, and my U. Excellent. And then I'm going to actually use mini glue dots for this. Actually, no, I'm going to use dimensionals for this, so it pops up a little bit. All right. And it's nice because it's got the wreath there. If we put the dimensionals on the two ends, it has the wreath to sit on. So it's um, going to be able to hide that little stretch of um, twine and create like a little under spot for the word Amura. Okay. And then I'm just going to fiddle those around so that comes back up to the forefront. And there you have it. There's our first card completed. So it is so beautiful and so quick to put together. I just love that. All right, we're going to put that one to the side and pull in all of our pieces for our Christmas rose card. All right, now including, it looks like we're going to do kind of like a, like a big mess of twine in the background. So when I'm going to do a big mess of twine, I usually just like wrap it around my fingers twice, maybe three times. And then I can set that off to the side. And let's get started by attaching, or here actually, first of all, folding this so it stays closed. Now we're going to attach this piece of sweater. I am going to turn it though, um, interrupted by math. <laughs> um, so I'm going to turn this to the side um, so that my knitting goes off to one direction. All right, and pop this in. Okay, there we go. Can I curl this one? Oh, come on. Yeah, I hope the connection tonight is okay. I'm trying Minicam again. I haven't used it um, for a little bit because it was getting very frustrating to me and wasn't working the way I wanted it to. But um, Ange McCat and Ange McKay did some troubleshooting with us and I hope that some of the stuff she taught us is actually working and um, has fixed some of the problems that I was having. So, all right, so I'm gonna rewrap this around my fingers so that I kind of create a big loop. I don't like how it's kind of got a mind of its own right now. It's I think it's been on that little spool for too long, kind of trying to do its own thing. And I am going to put down um, a mini glue dot, maybe two, in the center here and peel the backing off of them. There we go. So you're not going to be able to really see those, but trust me, they're there. Um, oh, to stamp flowers to decorate the wreath. You know, that would be so beautiful. And actually, I've got like... Now you're making me think I've got like a little punch 
of like a little baby poinsettia kind of like five point flower kind of thing from ages and ages ago that would actually look really really sweet oh that's such a good idea i might have to do that i'm going to be doing some alternative projects later this week oh and apparently i have some kind of a reminder here sorry guys oh there we go So I'm just kind of like looping this around in whatever way it kind of feels like it wants to fall on this page and um, not really kind of trying to wrestle against the ribbon, kind of letting it do what it wants. And I'm going to pop that down. Okay, so I've got a few like little loose bits and they're all going to get kind of flattened out and tamed by the things that we're going to put on top. So I've grabbed that piece of gold and I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. I'm actually going to put three on the back. Um, and before I do that, actually, I'm realizing I should probably put these flowers on um, before. And I'm thinking I'm going to use dimensionals for those as well. So this is going to be like a really layered card, um, which is fine. Um, you only need to kind of worry about your layers if, um, if you're mailing, um, mailing the card internationally especially, but really anywhere, and it's like so thick it won't fit through the little slot, but it really does take a lot of layers to do that, a lot of dimensionals. So I think we'll be fine. All right, so I'm going to use this one to kind of hold down that section of the string so that I can still see it, but it's kind of been tamed a little bit. There we go. All right, one side tamed. Um, so I cannot wait to show off what my dentist has been working on since summer. It's looking visible now. Oh, I can't wait, Jacqueline. Um, I always find stuff like that, like when your dentist is working their magic, which they really can work some magic. Um, that is awesome. So I just moved that one over because I realized if I put this flower here, it's going to cover it up. So I've just put that one there, and I'm going to pop some dimensionals onto the back of this one as well. And let's think about where I want them. So kind of more, a little bit lower, because I don't want dimensionals under where um, the other rows is, because then they'll stack on top of each other, and that'll, that'll really get thick. That'll be too much. All right, so I'm going to pop that one on there. Oh, too low. You want to make sure that when you're popping these roses on, that they're actually staying on the card front though. That's kind of, that's going to be important for it to fit inside your envelope. I know Jacqueline, I adore this paper pumpkin. This is so beautiful. All right. And then I'm going to put this gold one down and I do have the dimensionals on the back of this already. Three of them. And then when I do my sentiment, I think I'm not going to use dimensionals on that because that's going to get a little out of control. So I'm going to put this right through the center of the two roses. And again, make sure that this stays on your card. I got a little close to the end there, but we'll be fine. And now our Merry Christmas is going to go on there, but I'm not going to use dimensionals on this. I'm just going to use some mini glue dots. Or if you want to use, like if you have snail or something that you want to use, you can use that. Just try and keep these to the center though, so that they are going to touch your gold your gold piece here. So I'm going to peel off those backings. I'm not sure that these three little mini glue dots are going to hold it. We'll see. Might need to come in with a few more glue dots or some other kind of adhesive. Just don't use liquid glue. I find liquid glue on these shiny pieces um, just really doesn't work very well. Um, it slips and slides and ends up gumming up your, your metallic piece. All right, and there we have it. So that is our second card completed. So those are the two kind of pre-designed paper pumpkin cards that we have for this month. They are gorgeous, but I also really cannot wait to um, start designing some alternatives because there's so many options with the pieces that came in this set. It is just truly beautiful. And all of the sentiments, like you can see, I'm able to make four of each card except they've given me enough stuff that I can do this in like every language so I'm gonna have like one two three four five six seven eight nine so I have nine sentiments times two so 18 sentiments so I can actually make 18 cards 
with the pieces that I got here um, with those words and then of course all the beautiful words that came um, on the stamp set and stuff so I think I'm going to stamp this wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter on the inside of my card and um, a nice little tip that I got from my friend Janice is if you are going to be um, selling your cards she actually stamps her sentiment twice she stamps it once inside her card and then once on a piece of scrap paper that she can slip in to the clear plastic envelope with her card so that people can see that there is a sentiment on the inside so i just thought that was really really brilliant all right so here we go wishing you a very happy christmas filled with fun and laughter so beautiful Go, and I just realized I should have probably done a practice stamp with that one, but actually it turned out okay. Awesome. Um, lucked out on that one. All right, I'm gonna let that two minute and yours. And here we go. Another one. And voila. All right, so those ones are done, and I'll be able to stamp that on a scrap to put in with my well, in with this one. Um, this one's going in, going to a special home. Um, so thank you so much for joining me tonight though with these and if you're part of my team or somebody who subscribes with Paper Pumpkin for Paper Pumpkin with me, I will be doing um, a social night next night where I'll put together the rest of these cards and some alternatives and stuff. And once again, I do have one extra kit. So if you didn't get a kit and would like one, um, please contact me. It's um, $30 Canadian. And yeah, that's about it. So have a great night, everyone. And I will see you all soon. Oh, actually, I'll see you all if you want to join me tomorrow morning on my online stamping. Oh, what is it called? Online, um, online workshop with Leah. Actually, here we go. I can just switch over now. Oh, I think that worked. Did it? Okay, there we go. Um, so I have um, a different group. It's not my regular Facebook page, but I have a group called Online Workshop with Leah or Online Stamping Workshop with Leah. I can put the link into the comments in a moment. Um, but basically what it is is once a month I do an online workshop where I just show some cards and then I do an ordering incentive that with $60 purchase during my online workshop using my hostess code for that, um, you get all the bits to make the cards that I, um, the cards that I demonstrated. And so that's kind of fun. And then with an $80 purchase, you get all the bits as well as an embellishment. So if you want to join me tomorrow morning, I am going to be working on Christmas cards and um yeah i'd love to have you guys there so i'll pop that com that link into the comments afterwards all right have a good night everyone